Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to be giving you a behind the scenes of one of our latest projects that's currently installing. We're also going to be visiting Chelsea Harbour Design Centre for Design Week, so I hope you stick with us and enjoy it. So what are we doing today, Steve? We are driving through Knightsbridge right now on our way to our Knightsbridge project. It's a gorgeous apartment on a London square and we actually visited it a few weeks ago um, and you can see the progress where we visited the building site in a day in the life video. And today um, all the building work's finished, the client's moving in in a week, so we're installing all the furniture. They've been installing the furniture for about a week now, um, so there'll be lots of lovely things to see. Curtains have gone in, and we're going to be hanging some art today. And you're going to meet some more members of the team as well. Vanessa, one of my lovely designers, is there. Brett, my um, lead designer, who you met in previous videos, is going to be there again. So, lots of exciting things to see. I can't wait to see it myself. Hey! How you? Good, how are you? Hello. Hi, Vanessa. <laughs> this is Ollie. You haven't met him in person. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Ollie. How are you? So we put in all this joinery. So we wanted this to just blend in with the walls, um, so it almost looks like the panelling. The fireplace looks so good, doesn't it? Love this stone. Yeah, the shade's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, really nice. This is the artwork that's going to go above the banquet. Love that. And this feels so much bigger. Originally, it was literally like from the window to about here. So we stole some space from the living room, which they weren't really using anyway. And now we've got this lovely area, the banquette, there'll be a big dining table here. Um, so it's a nice eating kitchen, much more sociable. You guys will just have to spread out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, of course, definitely. I think they're perfect. Yeah. If you go a little bit, if you match Dayan's height and um, go a tiny bit closer, uh, especially this one on the left, you're fine. This one needs to move across a little bit. I think that's nice. So tell me a little bit about yourself, Vanessa, and how you started working with Sophie Patterson. I started working for Sophie Patterson about one year ago now, so end of June of last year. Right before the, I guess during the pandemic, actually. I think it's been kind of a lifelong passion. I had always thought about doing it for, you know, since I was a kid and kind of loved everything about it, but it took me a while to actually get there. I did, I studied economics and politics and worked in marketing and advertising first and eventually realized my passion was calling and <laughs> went back to school for interior design, so very happy I did. So Brett, how have you found working on this project? It's been, it's been really, really good. Um, we've had some new like colleagues that have joined the team yeah. um, in this like, renovation. Department. Yeah, in the period that we've worked on this project. It's been a great starting point. Yeah. They've been able to see it pretty much from beginning to end, which has been really good. Yeah, it's really satisfying for them. And also that the client rep, the clients live overseas, but the client rep's been here every day. Um, and she actually just rang me yesterday and said about Vanessa. Um, yes. How great Vanessa! We were just talking about you. We we're just saying, oh, that Vanessa's such a cow. We don't like. <laughs> no, the client uh, rep, which doesn't happen very often, but she actually went out of her way to say how great Vanessa is. So. You've had a sleep this week, haven't you? I'm well, not sleeping. Like, waking up really early, thinking about like, oh my god, did I call that person? Or like, are they going to show up on time? Yeah. Or blah blah. blah yeah. so. Yeah, we live and breathe at this stage. You literally like basically live on site. You just go home to sleep and then you think about it when you're sleeping as well. Yeah. The legs throb. <laughs> yeah. 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 All day. <laughs> yeah, we call that pigeon <laughs> feed. Don't we we right? Yeah, when your feet are like this, just, there's nothing left. You don't want to move, do they? Yeah. <laughs> don't they go make a lot of effort. Love the map. Yeah, that's quite nice how they've got yeah. the sleeve for it as well. Yeah. Oh, timeless, elegant, refined. These are from the mirrors that we did with R. Mac Martin. Um, the client loved them, so we're doing them in this project. We've got the big mirrors going in the master bedroom, and then we've got two of this size going in the girls' bedroom. So it's a double um, dressing table. So there's two girls. I'm Brett. I have been with Sophie Patterson Interiors for eight years. Um, I'm the lead interior designer here. 
and I'm heavily involved with the interior design from the beginning with Sophie. I've always had a passion for interiors, always had a nice home, it was just my, that was my hobby, that was my thing and I love a classic um, contemporary interior with luxurious finishes, I love antiques, I love going to interiors fairs, antique fairs um, and just spotting like the most amazing piece and visualising it in a, a future interior. So that's something that I really, really enjoy doing. It's hard work, just but it's not hard work if you're passionate. And um, when you're passionate about something, that does come easy. But it's just long hours and just determination and just staying current and up to date and reading magazines and going on websites and Pinterest and going to antiques fairs and just absorb as much information and interiors as you can in the design industry. That, I would say, is the best advice you can give to somebody. We were here literally a month ago and I mean I know you're surprised by like the progress but all of our projects always just sort of there's constant progress but then in the last month they transform and people that come like four weeks before we finish installing always say to us there's no way it's going to be done um, but it does like the team just perform miracles like the building team here have been so good everything's done, it's all on track and it's just, you get a huge transformation at the end, it's really nice to see. Today was really nice, it was like lovely to see my team, I have to say I am missing seeing them daily and the builders that we had on that project as well, they're such a lovely bunch of guys, they've done quite a few projects with us, so it was really nice to see them and honestly like when I go around our completed projects, I just feel so proud of what we create as a team and so proud of all my team and the people that have worked on it. The Chelsea Harbour Design Centre is really the epicentre of interiors in London and today I'm going to take you around some of my favourite suppliers, some secret suppliers that I haven't shared before and share with you some of my favourite products. There's lots of new product launches so it's a really exciting time to visit. So come and follow me, I'll give you a behind the scenes. In there you can see some of the trims, some of our fabrics. Oh, this is one of our fabrics. You can see SP, another one of our fabrics. Oh, these are all ours. All popping. Oh look, this is the whole SP thing. These are all our fabrics as well, our cushion. Ta -da! <laughs> so this is David who is Creative director, design well, director? Director of fabric, I guess. At yeah, Andrew Martin. Type, but, uh, and yeah. he designs all the fabric collections, all the cushion collections with me. Um, so we're going to give you a little show around the showroom here at the Design Centre and some of our latest collection. But this trim colour is very popular. Yeah, I, th I, I did think Almond yeah. is going to be big. It's going you, to hit the retail right. market. You were right. <laughs> and we've done a book. Oh, so we've exciting. Done a mock -up book. Because everyone, you know, we're trying to avoid making books because it's. I feel like expensive. people don't really use books anymore. Exactly, but all our export people are like, "Can we have the books? Can we yeah. have the books?" So this is a mock-up. So this was just really that we got done in time mm -hmm. for the show, but we will be making 250 or so of these. Oh, exciting! But you know, they all look lovely. It does always look exciting as a designer to see the collection in a book. Yeah. It makes it feel more real. Exactly. But so we just put them all together. But it looks beautiful. It looks and we've got so all nice. the plays in there and all the little textures and the wool. I feel like it was a really good collection. Yeah, no, it's great. Came together I mean, it's so well. Make the other one even stronger. Yeah. Well. So you know, when you see them together, they do work so great. well together, don't they? Yeah. You can mix and match. Absolutely. Really, really easy. Yeah, it's fat. So and we need to get started on our third collection. We do. Get a date I'm with the diary for that. For your, uh, I'm waiting for your idea. Well, <laughs> maybe we'll this. have a nice um, afternoon on the terrace when yeah. it's sun shining. When it's warmed up. Yeah. Let's do that. So along here we have some of our bedside tables, yeah. side tables, a couple of armchairs dotted around. Lovely. Sideboards and console tables as well. Here. This one's lovely. I love this finish. So nice. So these, is this a bedside table or would you classify uh, yeah, so this? A bedside or a chest of drawers. Yeah. And the handles on that are quite lovely as well. They're lovely, they're really great, nice. Yeah. And do you have stock items for this or is everything made to order? Everything is made to order in a six yeah. to 12 weeks lead time. Okay. Yeah. Space. Mm -hmm. This is a chair we've used quite a lot. Yes. We are using this in one of our Knightsbridge projects, aren't we? Yes, we are. Um, upholstered in blue leather, so you yes. guys will see so that. It's being dispatched end of this month. Oh, yeah. exciting. Mm -hmm. 
just love it. It's such a great shape and it's so comfortable as well, isn't it? I love how you blend classical and contemporary influences so well. And I think it's all about what finish you use as well. You can yeah. take a really sort of traditional chair and make it really contemporary. Hi, hi Jodie, how are you? Good. Do you mind if we film? We'll no, put it on our YouTube. Cool. And it'll go on Instagram as well. So do you, very glamorous. <laughs> this is one of our supplies we get asked most about. So a lot of our bedside tables come from here, chest of drawers. They do a really nice combination of mid-century with a contemporary twist and they just got really beautiful materials. We just did a whiskey bar, this would have been perfect for actually. A whiskey bar? A whiskey, he, the client turned a guest bedroom into a whiskey room. That is, that is. How cool is that? Bachelor pad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's How cool is that? Yeah, we put everything. Is that marble we put. Behind? This is a neolith, which is like a fake marble. It's um, a porcelain, but obviously it doesn't stain as much, yeah. so it looks amazing. That um, looks so cool. Isn't it cool? This is Porta Romana, my favourite lighting supplier. Ooh, that's amazing. That is so nice. How cool is that? That is so nice. Goes so well with the I ceramic. Know. It's called um, Rosna Lima. Yeah. I won't try and say that. No, I, I, we've, we've now, it's a bit of a dispelling the mystery because obviously the Italian name, they're constantly saying to everyone, oh, Ashley English Company, and now we've gone high like two Italians. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm living and breathing like Italians and then actually having to say, oh no, sorry. Yeah, you don't want to say it in front of them. Yeah. We've got an owl um, Knightsbridge project. You'll see this. Um, in July when we finish that project that's going in the kitchen. It's based on a Giacometti design, so we've used the coffee table quite a lot. Um, it looks amazing as a pendant as well. We've done ours in a sort of um, tan linen, so that's going to look beautiful. I think a lot of people are scared to come here because they think it's only open to interior designers, but actually anyone can come here. The only thing is it's not open at the weekend, it's only open during the week, but it's open to all the general public. So now we're going to go to Sutherland Perennials, which is one of my favourite outdoor furniture and outdoor fabric suppliers. Just follow me. Do you want a glass of champagne, Ollie? <laughs> yeah, that's a yes. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. So you've got a new green. You've got this one, which is called Confetti. Right. <laughs> And you've got the new yellow as well. What's the name of this one? Homespun. Homespun. I think I just ordered this for yeah, my uh, Gon Fan yeah. show. Have a good look at that, Ollie. It sort of looks like a Chanel tweed jacket. The concept store of Chanel in Saint Tropez used this fabric and our white child. Oh, did they? Yeah. I mean, yeah, why not? And the great thing is, we use this on indoor furniture as well because yeah. um, it's just completely stain proof. And you it's can... super cozy. Yeah, like it feels so nice. Yeah. yeah. I love it. This is, this is Adam, managing director in Europe. And this is my absolute favourite range in the whole Sutherland's collection. It's called the Frank Collection. Frank? Frank, sorry, Frank, Frank by, Collection. By Vincent van Boysen. Um, is he Belgian? He is. He's a Belgian architect. Yeah, I mean, it's just so chic. I love the combination of the wood with the wicker. This, I, I feel like I need this in my home, actually. I just love it so much. I'm going to take this cushion off for a sec. It's quite deep, so you can get nice and comfortable. Yeah, nice cushion on it. Oh, this is very nice. <laughs> now we're going to go to Stark. Um, Stark's an amazing rug supplier. I got the rug in Oscar's room, which is that leopard indoor-outdoor rug from Stark. The Abaca rug that everyone loves in my utility room, that's from Stark. And we've used them in loads of projects, so we're going to have a look, see what they've got. Daniel's looked after me at Stark for years. How long have I been working with you, Daniel? Uh, Since like 2010, 2008? Yeah. Long time. Long time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so these are all hand loomed. Gorgeous. So we keep them in stock the whole time. Um, and they're made in wide widths. Um, and such a really good, usable, neutral Lovely. Colors. Um, so all of these are a new. So all shirt. of these are in stock, are they? Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah. That's sort of like a softer abaca, isn't it? Like the one that I've got in my utility room. It is, yeah. So it gives that look of, yeah. being, of being quite rustic, but it's soft and So the soft and springy. Yeah. My favourite thing to do when I come to Stark is make them lift up all the rugs <laughs> so that I can see what's here. Shall we flip 
then. Should we flip a couple? I think it's so nice for people to see, like yeah, of the fact. And so, if you want to buy one of these rugs in the showroom, you can buy the actual rug, yeah, can't yeah. you? Absolutely. So, fun fact is, I had my very first job, my work experience that I did when I was 15, was actually in the Chelsea Harbour. So that's 22 years ago, a very long time ago, and it was actually this company, Zoffany, that gave me my first work experience. And I'll never forget, I was in their showroom, being a showroom assistant, and one day a princess came into the showroom and there was this excitement about the harbour. I got asked to suddenly, as an emergency, go into the stock room and do a stock count, so I was like shoved out of the way. But it was just such a fun experience and it really gave me my first taste of interior design and beautiful fabrics and the finishes. And I also worked at Cole and Son, who's still here today in the same showroom. And it was just an amazing experience to see all these incredible brands and products and feel the buzz about the design centre. I knew from the age of 15 that this is what I wanted to do. So it's so nice the fact that I still get to come back here today now that I am an interior designer.